So I was speaking at the Northwest um, Cooperative Party conference today and in thinking about why it's important to me to stand as a Labour and co-op candidate in May um, and why it's important to me that we continue to grow the co-op movement and embed co-op values in everything we do. In, in thinking about all of that, what emerged was a poem. So I'm going to just read to you now um, the poem which I've called Cooperation is Alive. It's in our DNA, in our bones, in the building of our schools, shops and homes, the working of the lands, our head, heart and hands. It's in our wikis and our stickies, in the marching of our boots and deep within the ground in the fungi roots relied upon for pollination of our flowers and our plants and seen in action in colonies of ants. It travels in the air we breathe and glistens on the webs we weave. It's the heavy loss we feel as we grieve. It's in our grit and our wit when we're at the bottom of the pit and in the pride stitched into the badge of our favourite kit. It's in the dance of life through the trouble, joy and strife. It shines in the care, smile and mutual aid of stranger neighbour and services unpaid. A friendly nurse and opened purse when your tank and bank is empty, the cup that keeps on giving for as long as we are living. It's what makes the team and what creates the steam that powers our northern engines and dreams. It's in the soil and the oil that protects us as we toil and that's tough to break or spoil. It's in the kind of power that we grow and the ideas that we sow when we create the conditions for the rising and the sharing of the dough. It's in the stories of your gran from the rice fields of Japan, in the rhythm and the beats that line our urban streets. It's in the buzz of our bees and the whisper of the trees. It's in our democratic roots and community wealth building shoots. It's in our canals, pioneers, cycleways, quiet ways, memories of brigadiers. It's heard in the roars of football fans and cricketers. It's in the magic of youth workers and witches, the healing potion, the thread that stitches to repair the COVID wounds and austerity tears that each and every service and community now bears. It's in a bed every night and support every day, in the living wages that we pay, in our northern spirit and our regional sway. From our great great grandfathers to our sister suffragettes, and now the calls of our sons and daughters to tell the truth without regrets. It's the bit we've overlooked in our relationship with the planet. It puts life before profit, so the Tories try to ban it. It resists the chains and the stock market gains that exploit and extract and spin myth into fact. It's in the courage to acknowledge the systems and structures and multi-generational ruptures that enclosed, corrupted, that oppressed and dispossessed. It's in the depth of our love. It brings peace like a dove. It's there when we're at our best, not in competition with the rest. It's why we hold on tight to each other like sister and brother and refuse to accept as the norm that some boats aren't built to withstand the storm. And as we sit here now in our boxes, battered, bruised and confused, it's what gives us hope and pride, a clear purpose to our stride. It's key to how we overcome and become so much more than just the sun. It reminds us that we care and allows us to dare to imagine and design a world that's far less fragile, far more empathetic, adaptive and agile. Greener, fairer, kinder, happier and fonder, where bonds grow ever stronger. A world free of greed and hunger. This magic source, of course, is cooperation. It's the magnet and the glue that binds me with you shoulder to shoulder, hand in hand. Whilst egos fall, together in cooperation we stand. It's in the we and the us, in the building of the trust, that gives the strength to the many, not the few. 
We are cooperators through and through. It's who we are and it's what we do. Thank you.